Peza, and I'm going to teach you the Peza way. Okay, now, tell them to put their, what do they put on first? They, you put on Versamark first. Versamark first. I'm going to put it all oh. over the picture. Yes, we put our stencil back over our white embossed image. Keep putting it on. And we're going to smear our Versamark all over it. Good job. Now we're going to pick some mica powders. Yeah, full of these. Okay. I'll open them up for you. That one. Okay. All right. I can open them some. Then we're going to take our little paintbrush. And we're going to just dip a little bit and smear it around. And this will catch the Versamark. Do you need to tell them anything? Some this more? is Versamark and we smear the brown paper. And you and the Versamark catches the mica powder. That's right. And you know that when you dump it out and the sun hits it, it will shimmer. That's right, it will shimmer. Over here on your embossing, honey. Over on your embossing, there's no first mark up there. There you go. That's right, it shimmers very nicely in the sunlight, doesn't it? Okay, brush it all around. Your Versamark will stay wet for a good bit of time so that you have a little time to work. Can we put some pink up here, maybe? I don't like pink. Okay, some purple. Now, once you're done, do you remember what we do when we're done? We brush it off. Brush it off. Okay, start brushing. This brush or Swiffer will take the excess powder off so that you can see just the shimmer of the embossed areas. Oh, shimmer. That's right. And this is just another way to really add to your embossed design. And I can show you another piece Pez did earlier. This is some little butterflies that I had embossed. No, I did it yesterday. Yes, she did it yesterday, excuse me. Now this also looks really good on black. So we're going to do a black one next. So we've placed our stencil back over it. Could you do the Versa mark for me? There you go. We're gonna smear our Versa mark on top. Honey, smear the Versa mark. It's black embossing powder. You haven't used the black yet. This is black glossy embossing paste. And this is a little flower that I cut from one of our templates. So we're just going to cover it again with the Versamark. Now what color powders would you like to use? I wouldn't like to use purple, but I would like to use this and this. Okay. And this. Okay, here you go. Same technique, we're just going to brush the mica powders over I the top want of it. Some of this. Okay, start brushing. So we're going to dip our brush in and just start smearing it around. And you can see the black base really brings out the color of the powders.
me see. We have a lot of excess powder here, and you can use that. A little bit of powder goes a long way. The last bit on. Cover down here. Alright, and then we're going to use the same technique, just get a soft brush or a Swiffer to get the excess powder off. There we go. And you can be pretty rough with your brush at this stage because that powder sticks to that Versamark really, really well. As you can see, there's smudges and stuff on the outside. We're not gonna worry about that because I will cut this out with a circle. And there you can see these mica powders really give an amazing colored metallic, almost foil or leafed look on top of your embossing. Thank you, Peza. Would you like to tell everyone bye? Bye.